Coming to you from Homebrew Studios, it's Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour with your host, Bob Katie and John Piccarillo, and Jay Smith. Welcome to episode 137 of Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Welcome aboard, folks. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Woohoo! Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Turkey's done. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the uh, official... Oh, my muffins are ready. <laughs> Thanksgiving hat on. Yeah. Festive, aren't we? Someone's the festive. Crown. Crown. The Thanksgiving crown. <laughs> yes. I shall oh. wear. You look very elfin with that green part. <laughs> <laughs> I brought turkey. Turkey jerky? Oh, turkey jerky. My pipe organ. <laughs> oh my God, my pipe organ. Yay. <laughs> You're titillated, aren't you? From the beef jerky outlet. Oh. oh. Turkey jerky. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm touching, touching myself, myself tonight. Oh, oh. I wish I was Beyonce. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah. Beyonce. Uh, turkey jerky. Turkey jerky. Hey, love start you. with that one. Start with that one. That's uh Cherry maple flavored smoked turkey. Actually it'll be the day after Thanksgiving when yeah, this goes yeah. up, won't it? Yeah. yeah well, hope you guys had enough to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you had enough to eat, you bloated bastards. Oh, look at that. It's like a... Oh, yeah. Their stuff's good. It's like a, the color of salmon. Are you going to fondle that? What are you going to do? You look like you're going to fondle that. And this is a little spicy. This was the most spicy <coughs> spicy uh, they had of turkey flavor. We have turkeys that show up in the backyard all the time, and I like to take out a piece of turkey and taunt them. It was uh, peppercorn. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. This is a cherry maple that we have. No. I'm no? Not. No. I'm no good. jerky? No, no jerky. I definitely need a beer. Mm. Yeah, and on top of that, I don't have anything to drink because John got rid of all my water out of his refrigerator. No, I didn't. You did. No, you did. It's going to be consequences and repercussions. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> Maybe by fucking Christmas we'll be oh. in the new house, for God's sake. So good. That cherry maple is fantastic. Although by the time people are watching this, we could actually be in the next house. We just You probably will be. Who the Hopefully. fuck knows? Where did you find this? Like Paso. Uh, the Beef Jerky Outlet on uh, Route 9 in Latham. There's also one uh, in uh, Lake George. but they. Uh, Where's the one on Route 9? Route 9, uh, just uh, south of 155. It's in a little plaza. There's a uh, some kind of uh, whole food store there, and then just beyond that, uh, if you if you Google story. it, just Google the beef jerky outlet Latham, New York, yep. and it'll come beef up. Jerky. It's, it's there. Uh, yeah, old Loudon now Road. Now I'll remember. Old Loudon Road. Yeah, and uh, they have. Uh, there's actually one in the, in the outlets now, Lake George, but they're not affiliated. They're separate uh, owners. Um, this like this would be a dream come true for me. Oh, dude, their jerky is fantastic. They have everything. They have. You like, definitely don't need that for your blood pressure. They, they actually have. <laughs> yeah, no, it's probably not good for you. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Want to, but they have. Uh, Go after your surgery to the blood. To the they <laughs> actually do the the uh, like salmon, all kinds of fish, also mm -hmm. meat wise. Um, they do bacon jerky, which is probably the, one of the worst things in the world. <laughs> that would be, I'd be a Tom's Alley. Tom loves like bacon. Eat, oh my God. I can eat jerky like nobody's bacon. I know you love, I know you love jerky. <laughs> and they do some, the they do, they do some phenomenal flavored, flavored jerkies there. And um, they do some really spicy stuff too. They didn't have. I wanted. To, I wanted to bring some really hot turkey stuff. Oh, but this, that was awesome. That's what I was trying to get. But they, this was the hottest turkey. Oh. Had, so, 
But uh, you should have still got some hot whatever. It's just a <laughs> I know they have uh, so good. But they do a lot of fish stuff, and they actually have like crazy like bugs too. As, so, when, like, they say uh, the the future is, have, is bugs. I I go, I go in with Johnson so, all the time. Johnson's like, you gotta try this. You gotta try this. So, go, no, I don't. I don't have to try anything. Yeah, it's like I, I, uh, I like like I need to like yourself. Like I need to like any more food. I they don't. Have, I don't yeah, need to like anything new. They have some crazy stuff in there, uh, but uh, highly recommended uh, beef jerky outlet. Yeah, hit it, hit it up and. Uh, in Latham or uh, or Lake George outlets, uh, but they're around the country. But this is the first around uh, around our area. But uh, their We're, jerky's jerky's really good. Okay, really good stuff. Here we go. So Here we good. go, John. You have to get you have to throw one thing over uh, o- o- over the side of the boat: a hot naked woman or a pile of beef jerky. Or whatever jerky you love the most. Oh, the girl goes over because <laughs> she can swim. The beef jerky can. <laughs> no, no, that's all there is. No, 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 no. no, no. no <laughs> you're not. No, no, beef jerky can't swim. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. We're not going that way. It's like it, it's. It, you're on the edge of a cliff and you're pushing one off. How's that? And she can't fly. So fuck that. How hot is she? Yeah. How hot is she? Yeah. Mila Kunis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I got to think. Are we going to save our lives? Like whoever goes, like whatever I throw over, then the... John, you have five survive. seconds to decide. There's a bullet that's going to be shot at you if you don't make a decision in five seconds. Make a decision. Well, they say when it's life or death, it really slows down. Like a two minutes. Is no, 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 no. This is five Think seconds, just it. like this. Five seconds, just like this. What are you getting rid of? Mila Kunis or beef jerky? Or jerky, I should say. Whatever jerky you want. Do I get to survive? If you don't make a decision, no. No? If you don't make a decision, you have to make a decision. I'll take the beef jerky. It gives me less, uh, less, less. <laughs> gives me less lip. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh. Give you less the lip. The problem is I can eat it all. Yeah. You know, that's the problem. I thought that was the problem of Mila Kunis, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, those are good right there. Good start. Yeah. Turkey jerky. Turkey jerky. John, what is the word of the day? Oh. Ubriaco. Holy <laughs> shit, though. Ubriaco. 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 And what does that mean? Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a little slab of pickle. All right. Ooh. Ubriaco. 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 I know I didn't spell it right, but I spelled it so I'll know how to say it. That's what I always do is I spell it out like it's supposed to, and then I spell it how it sounds. <coughs> Ubriaco. Ubriaco. Italian, obviously. Oh, yeah. I'm sticking with that for now. I'm still on it. That's all that Three I years have. later, John. Yeah. Ubriaco. Speaking Italian when this show uh, graduates. Is the show graduating? Where are we? Where are we graduating to? I don't know. What does the show do? <laughs> We're gonna get to first grade eventually. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll send us back <laughs> to kindergarten. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 uh, I don't know. When do they stop letting you do Ubriaco. dick and fart jokes? <laughs> Ubriaco. 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 See, I can pronounce this now because I'm. Uh, 10% Southern European. Oh, that's yeah. right. Jay found out, <laughs> what, Jay found out <laughs> what the fuck he is. <laughs> yep. Ubriaco. Jay has some Southern European in Yeah. It. More than I thought I did. Well, Scandinavian from what I... Yeah. 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 Scandinavian. Southern European. You can have some Viking in you, you know. Got a little Viking in you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimney fucking chongas. 
You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com on buzzsprout.com and iTunes or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Also on Untap at Jay's Brew and Brewmaster Pick. There seems to have been a misunderstanding about what kind of boat guys we're going to be. Obviously, once I wear turkey hats. I, At least it's not the taco hat. Yeah. That's Thanksgiving special. Thanksgiving special. Oh, oh my go, muffins go, are ready. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. You'll always have a place to drink here, you degenerate scumbag. <laughs> I wonder what's going to be like with just shells back there. I feel yeah. like we're going back to the Stone Age. <laughs> no, I think, no, not the Stone Age. I, yeah, well, we're looking very empty pretty much right wow. now. It's going to get even emptier this week. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what? Uh, yeah. seeing that it's Thanksgiving, what is the one thing on Thanksgiving you cannot do without? Whether Should we just go with food with that question? Ooh, Turkey. Turkey? Gobble, 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 gobble. Turkey, right? You can't go. You can't not have a turkey. Yeah, I would say that's number one. Yeah, that's the, the uh, tradition. Yeah. All right. I think I have some stats on that. Hold okay, on a second. Hold piece on. De raison. Le- I got a Resistance. fact on that. <laughs> okay. Americans eat forty-six million turkeys each Thanksgiving. It's a lot of fucking turkeys right there. You know what I I'm will saying? Not, and I will not be one of them. Gobble, gobble. This was a much bigger surprise. Californians consume the most turkey in the U.S. on Thanksgiving Day. Well, you, it's a big state. Yeah, but still, I, uh-huh. I, you, you'd think there's more like vegan <clears throat> stuff like that in L.A. Mm. You know? hmm. So I was surprised by that fact. Yeah, I guess. It's a big state. It is a big state. Yeah. Though. Very so. big state. Got well, three, three the, major, ma- huge cities. San Francisco, yeah. L.A., and uh, San Diego. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of big states. It's set. Look so at I, guess there's, I guess there's not as many vegans as we thought there were. That's I right. Know. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was they were, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe Me- that's meat their eaters cheat day. For a day. Maybe that's their cheat day. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, just, meat just eaters one, for a day. Just one. Just one. Yeah. Just one I'm just going to have a little turkey. Just yeah. one. I just want to taste what oh, this will so actually be. This will actually be the. Oh, so good. I'm going to have some more. This will be the first Thanksgiving I haven't had turkey. I think this will. I think this will be the first Thanksgiving I haven't had turkey in my life. Really? Yeah. You're not having turkey. You got no utensils. Got no way to cook it. You got me. I made. I made made ravioli and meatballs the other night. It was like we had to borrow shit from Linda's mother mother up the road. Well, the problem is though is the pan that we cooked the turkey in. It's gone. It's her mother, so we can't borrow from her, and it's in her uncle's garage buried somewhere. <laughs> but we just don't have any of the stuff. <laughs> Hello? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anything, a turkey bister. Anything available? <laughs> I think we'll probably end up doing, like, probably, like, the following weekend. Do Maybe do a turkey if we can get to our stuff. Yeah, you can always do I think it. we're doing ours after the, the night prior, because Renee has to work. On Thanksgiving? No, Renee's working. Uh, no, uh, how's Some- it working? <laughs> Somebody's Our working. They're all screwed up. Because uh, I'm no, we're, we're doing it the night prior, but I have to work Thanksgiving night. But we're going to her sister's Thanksgiving day. So oh, okay. I have to work the night after, but I'm a vampire, so I have to sleep at some point. So. Yeah, sleep's good. Yeah. Sleep. John's a big fan of sleep. I love it. Let me rephrase the question. If you had to go over somebody's house for Thanksgiving that's not your family, what item are you going to miss that is like what your family puts on the table that's not? Because I know your family and they do like a lot of, they have like a lot more family type things. It would be out. my father's soup. What's that? Uh, he does like. I'm gonna say it's like an Italian wedding soup. It's little meatballs. I remember one year him and I spent hours 
you know, drink a little wine, roll a little fucking meatballs. They're little. It takes a long time. Roll a little fucking meatballs. Roll fucking five pounds of meatballs this big. Tiny Take, meatballs? Takes you a lot of time. It's a no mm-hmm. fucking joke. So I remember, and we did it the whole night, and then we cook them like I do for the sauce, you know, in the oven, and then they're ready to go into the soup. And uh, we get over to my sister's house, and he's got the soup. <sighs> And we, we didn't bring fucking meatballs. So I busted her balls with those guys. Hey, guess what? The soup's still delicious without them, uh, but it is, it's the kind of it's, the money of uh, that one. You know what I mean? What about so you, Jay? He, he, he makes the best one. What would I one for sure. miss? Yeah. If like, I, is there anything when you do Thanksgiving mm-hmm. that maybe there's something that's not a, the traditional thing? You know how everybody has to think different things. Like, he said his father with the soup. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Is there anything that you'd that you'd miss? Like some people are very particular about their stuffing. Yeah, well, I, I know Renee Renee's family loves her mother makes a fantastic sausage stuffing. I love that. She does that. So I've I've emulated that the uh-huh. last few years to make her at home because we've been we haven't been We've been out and about. Out, yeah. Well, no, we haven't been able to be together as a family every mm-hmm. year. So, um, I've been doing a sausage stuffing every year f- just to make her feel homey with that. Mm-hmm. But uh, my uh, my killer cranberry sauce is that i, I was gonna killer guess cranberry it sauce reason. my cranberry sauce <laughs> is killer cranberry sauce that i've been making probably for like the last 10 years is uh yeah i i can't live without it sorry to be not to be not to be not to be but everybody loves it it's not like a and i'll do two because um the nephews are uh have nut allergies, so I do two versions because mine is nuts. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's good to have nuts. I like nuts. John misses his. I love nuts. <laughs> right um, now, <laughs> some of you guys in the bands, you miss your nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, of, two of our band members have been neutered. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put my nuts hat on your drum set. <laughs> he won't. Not. <laughs> Carefully. All right. So, I'm gonna shuffle, oh, okay. friends. Whoa! Shuffle. I don't know. I don't know. Now. Sh- we're more to huh? shuffle, Fritz, in front. All right. So, uh, yeah. So my uh, my cranberry. Uh, it's become a family hit. So. Oh, there you go. Like uh, cranberry, I love it. So, and, uh, I and the family loves it. I would say uh, asparagus for me. Ooh. I like asparagus. I I hated asparagus as a kid. It was always Thanksgiving. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> and now, since uh, and since I became an adult, uh, that jury's still out on that. Um, I've I I go out of my way to find asparagus for Thanksgiving. It's like my like, you know. I'm like I I need asparagus for Thanksgiving. Is it hard mm. to find? Oh, uh, it can be a little bit in the winter time. You gotta go through a couple say, stores. Yeah, it's not see, it's not the right. No, you season. get some for um, Linda's mother does uh, Schw- the Schwann's man there. The oh, I know. I've seen the truck over there. Yeah, yeah. They, she gets it from him. So for like a couple boxes of uh, frozen asparagus, uh-huh, uh-huh. she was, get, was getting it from him. It's very good. I I I I'd become a big fan of asparagus when as a kid I hated it. I was like, what the hell is this stuff on the table? Just pass that by me. I've always loved it. My father, oh the fresh asparagus like on the road. Yeah, there you go. my father's picked it. My oh, whole you life. Said, you said that. You said lake, that though with know? the maness though. You didn't like that as a kid. That then, one I didn't like as a yeah. kid though. No, the asparagus I always liked. Uh, that was always because there's nobody that I know has had asparagus the way I have 
which is the early season sprouts. It's like a small, it looks like a small Christmas tree. And uh, you got to trim the st st stalk because it's way too tough. Mm -hmm. But all the outsides are really nice and tender. And my, my father used to pick a shitload of it and, and, and saute it with some oil and garlic. Man, it's like, it's butter. Man, it's killer. It's so good. And then, the, and then, is there? Then after that, well, literally it, it, makes me want to hurl. Oh, oh, oh. Is there? Is there anything? Maybe, maybe I haven't had it the right way, but I. Yeah. I, don't, I oh, we. I love. I love doing a steak on the grill and then doing some Ooh. asparagus. Yeah, can't, that Renee loves it. I can't. Let's go. Is there anything that you hated as a kid that you've come to like as you've gotten older? That as a kid you were like, mm. oh, yes. I know definitely yes, but I know one. Mashed potatoes. When I was a kid, I could, <laughs> I couldn't, I I couldn't take the texture, and my mother uh, made me eat it. You're huge. And I texture. threw up on the table. And I remember she never forced me to eat anything ever again. And I stayed away from mashed potatoes. I never had a problem with a potato product but, in I mean, my life. Now <laughs> I love like mashed potatoes and gravy is awesome. It's fantastic, no problem. But when I was a kid, something wasn't right with it. I didn't like the mash. The, I was like you pasty, you know. You're a funny little kid, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, I, and I know there's something, but I can't figure it out. But no, it'll come back to you. Yeah, I'm sure, probably. I've done a couple apps that were really good, but it's not a tradition. My dad's a little more traditional. The, uh, uh, of course, of course, it, Halloween wasn't over, and one of mine and John's big pet peeves came about. Hmm. What's one of our what's our biggest pet peeve this time of year? Yeah, people will get their panties into a Christmas twist. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There's wasn't many <laughs> violators. <laughs> <laughs> I came across a lot of violators. Walmart <laughs> didn't even. Walmart had their Christmas section up in the back. That back where they're so, they oh, Target. Their summer, Target already did before it. they had Halloween down. Target did too. Yeah, it was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Come on. Across a lot of uh, lights. violators. A lot oh, really? of lights too. A lot of there's a Swagger Town Road. Oh, I came back sons from, of bitches. I forget, or me and Ray were coming back from. Like, oh, Bob would be pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let you know, Jesus. You gotta. Yep. Bob likes Christmas. Too. And I love Christmas. I love but I, Christmas. I, hey, I almost got sucked into it at Walmart. I this this uh, a couple. Well, they now that's in. what they try to do. Yeah, yeah. To I went in there at the. Uh, was it even? Uh, yeah, the first week in November. Got in there, and I was just like, man, they had the, they had the little Christmas music going, and I I, I started wandering around. And was, and the only thing that stopped me was I was like, I gotta, I'd have to fucking pack anything I bought. Fuck that! Oh, fuck that! It's a Christmas jam. I'm out of here. That's how I feel right now. I we got magical I beer. I can't wait. And we got magical me. jerky. I can't wait I'm in long. like la la This has been killer. This has been killer. They put this on. They put this on the website like three days ago that they were releasing this. I really enjoyed it. Well, is this what you guys had when you it, stopped? No, no we, had, we didn't we have this yet. No, we didn't have we, this. Uh, they released this. I told John they've been, they have so much beer now that they're making at Wolf Hollow. Um, they're releasing beer at, uh, they're putting stuff actually out to the bars and kegs before they're releasing it at the brewery. Really? I really? Had, yeah, I had a I had a beer that they haven't they don't have at the brewery yet because they don't have enough room on the well, taps because yeah. they're trying to get re they're trying to get rid of stuff at the brewery um, that's coming out that's fucking phenomenal I can't wait to have it sorry people uh, but this is a uh, I was sorry about I was tempted to have one swear. more when we were there oh, oh yeah. fuck it start talking about that cast oh I know the cast oh, it's right there it's like cast. calling my they name they had a wit oh, they had a you know how Special they had, I am. They had a cast. Right over here. I like Dave Matthews I know, band I, too. I really wanted to have the cask. <laughs> I really wanted to have the cask ale they had was a uh, was a mango and uh, yeah 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 it sounded delicious. Mango. They had a cask conditioned ale with mango and I forget what it was. What was the other? That yeah, was mango and something cask conditioned ale. Mango. Something, but I, it was the wit with cask condition. But anyway, 
Uh, we're here with uh, their first light beer. Really? Wolf Hollow. Wow. This is none the wiser. N U N N U N the wiser. None the wiser. None the wiser. This was uh, just picked up on our way here two weeks ago. They've been here for two weeks, yes. folks. <laughs> so we're, we're never have, leaving this basement. Freshly New people have moved in above. We're never leaving. Me and John have never had this. Uh, it's uh, coming in about four and a half percent. It's fill it up the growler. It was funny. We ordered a couple of beers. Mm-hmm. Oh, so awesome. we could have a beer while we waited to fill the growler. And she, uh, the bartender says, I, I told her what I wanted. Did you have that hat on? I didn't have this <laughs> hat on. That would have made for some interesting conversation. I told, um, I told her what I wanted, and she says, you want to taste it? And I said, no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed. Yeah, she laughed. <laughs> no, I'm going to like it. <laughs> Does it have hops? Okay. Does it have barley? I'm going to like it. <laughs> he said, no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like She looked at me kind of like, like, like she, uh, she, she didn't know what to do. She kind of oh, like, you want to eat? Sort of like, I, I know you want free so beer, cool. but that's yeah. a good answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. They know I, me I pretty had, well there. Yeah, so and, there. And I was standing next to him. Everybody knows him. Yeah, you know. So, you know. Does Jay get the norm treatment? Oh, Jay! Oh, no, you know what I got? You know what's really funny? I got a lot. Where's your wife? Yeah, where's your wife? Oh, that's what oh, they said. Jay. Where's your wife? Where's your wife? That's what they all said. All the, all the bartenders said, where's your wife? <laughs> they like Renee there, don't yeah. they? Yeah. You don't know if that's a good or bad where's, thing. Where's the pretty one? <laughs> He's the pretty one tonight. <laughs> He's a pretty. Oh, you were pointing at John, oh dear lord. Man, that jerky's good. Makes me want to buy a jerky and, and smoke it. <laughs> well, I don't even want to touch that one. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Because right now. Buy a jerky and smoke it? Jerky. No, you got to freeze it. My dad's got a slicer now. How'd that go? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Shing, 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 shing. Before it's cooked and then smoke it. It's on. It's on. It's on. Donkey it's on like Donkey Kong. It's on like Donkey Kong. You'll always have a place to drink here, you degenerate scumbag. Is that what she answered with, John? <laughs> we get more here, too. So. <sighs> Man, that's good. This wow, is a those are full. This is a light lager. Four it's and a, half, a light lager. Four and a half percent. Watch your waistline. <laughs> Ching. Because everybody on Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll follow none the wiser. Oh my God, that's good. Wow. I haven't, I haven't had one from them that I didn't <laughs> oh like. God, that's oh. good. Wow. I'm surprised you went with the light beer. You're not usually a light beer guy. I'm not, but this is a new beer for them, and I wanted to try it. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. That is really good. It's it's a uh, this is a kind of a new style of beer for them too. A lager. They can do that now. They when do they come out with their Christmas ales or oh, their Christmas oh, ones? Oh, 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 oh. 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 A, yeah, I have an announcement for that. The tiny tartan comes out on uh, tiny. Tartan? Tiny Tartan is their, Ooh. that's their, that's their uh, Scottish Wee Heavy. It comes out, uh, the release, Hi, wee heavy. the release party is on December 6th. That's oh, a December Wednesday. 6th? Yeah, Wednesday. Do they put out multiple Christmas ones, or is that just uh, one? They actually one? have a, a, a porter, a vanilla and coffee porter that'll be coming out shortly, too, as well as a Vienna lager. That'll be coming out. I know you love the Christmas. Yeah, that the no, Christmas I, brews. I, what did you get when we were there? That's the one you you like head over heels oh, for. Oh, that's my favorite. The uh, what's it called? The name of it. Is Number twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Number twelve. Yeah. Number twelve. The uh, the black IPA. Ah, uh, black IPA. Midnight dreary. That's it. 
Oh, I can, I, I'm dreary. imagining it right now. Midnight dreary. The is, color of uh, mud. Fantastic. Motor oil. It's a black IPA. It's fucking phenomenal. All their IPAs are great. I mean, they're just phenomenal IPAs. But this is. Uh, what do you think? Light oh, lager? Yeah, yeah. You're, no, I'm totally you're drinking a light lager. Oh, no, this, this is, is a light lager fresh out of the. Uh, John's fermenter. very coherent for the second podcast, actually. Yeah, well, we went late today. Uh, we'll Tried to keep them with us. It's also a mission of mine. <laughs> a mission? Hey, look. Until after surgery. I got no, not even that. I got I got a couple problems. Uh, I like drinking alcohol, <laughs> but I don't. Know, I'm not so sure my body likes me drinking alcohol. I bet you it probably doesn't. Right. So. On those lines, there's also the caloric intake. Mm-hmm. That's the real big problem for me. Yeah. But I thought you would let your sales out on a special when because you, you're drinking more. You know, I don't know. On a, I don't know. On, this on is a podcast. Work in, this is a work in progress. Oh, oh, oh it's a okay. work in progress. I don't work have in to, progress. Yeah, yeah. The first step is to to count what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I tell my cardi- I tell my cardiologist, yeah, sure, I drink every night four beers. No, no, I like beer and wine. I drink four, I dr- which is true, four beers, four wines. That's about accurate, but I give him the illusion that it's actually four beverages. The illusion. So I started writing it down. And I realized well, I drink a lot more than that. So I maybe I got to shave that number down. You know, and it's funny when you start keeping track. You like there's a number that seems every day ish and then one day that you do for example if i drink at dinner my alcohol consumption goes way up because like after dinner and everything changes and every now i settle into my personal time i drink the same amount i would when i was first left all alone on a day without drinking alcohol at a dinner so it just like so. I, it's additional calories, mm-hmm. basically. But uh, that's the bottom. You know, right. you know. You bet your ass. That's right. right. <laughs> so, so well, that didn't solve anything. Guess I'll just go out and get hammered. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Just straight. There you go. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. All right, you. Pr- oh no, I didn't want to hit that button. Sorry. What? What do I need? What button do I need to hit, guys? Uh, this one in your face all over the place we're online 24 7 24 7 you're listening to the hottest internet station bob and john super duper variety power (laughs) you son of a bitch ah griffin there you are i've decided that as your new boss i'm gonna require you to have a standing desk Uh, But I look like such an ass. And that's not all. You've got to constantly tell everybody what a good idea it is and how important it is and how wrong they are for having traditional desks. Can't I just work at it and mind my own business? No, you have to be a freak about it. Maybe it can just be my own personal choice and, and I'm not judging others for their choices. No, you being right means everyone else is wrong. That's what your standing desk is saying to the chair people. From now on, you call them chair people. Oh, and three times a day you have to say, sitting is the biggest killer in America. Uh, I'm going to squeeze right in here if my thighs will let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we go. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking changas. You can find us at Bob and John's podcast at gmail.com. Ugh. On buzzsprout.com and iTunes. Or. At Loose and Buttery on <laughs> uh, Twitter and Instagram or Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, of Bob and John Super Duper Variety Power Hour. And on Untapped, the Chase Brew and Brewmaster Pit. You're not getting Ubriocho today? Uh, yeah, Ubriocho. Did you know uh, Benjamin Franklin wanted uh, turkey to be the national bird? Shut the fuck up. That's true. Get the fuck out of here. Totally wanted Get the it. fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I cannot. It's true. True. True fact. That would have been, yeah, we would have made turkeys out of us, wouldn't they? <laughs> 
Speaking of that, oh, right. Uh, these guys did their homework. I did not. Oh, my God. <laughs> you come down in your best little boy suit and expect me not to get a raging cartilager? I don't know what that had to do with anything, but I hit the button. So, let's go to some Thanksgiving jokes. Who's going first? Why did the wait? Yeah. Sounds like you have a dick in your mouth. Why did they let the turkey join the band? Because he had the drumsticks. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, baby. Why can't you bring a turkey to church? I don't know. They use foul language. Uh, (laughs) What sound does a turkey's phone make? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Wing, wing. (laughs) <laughs> it's like I don't know whether to go oh or laugh. So it's like a half yeah, and half. I was, I was way down there, there. As discussed earlier, what's the key to a great Thanksgiving dinner? What? A turkey. Uh, <laughs> 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 if a man wants to eat a turkey on Thanksgiving, what does a turkey want? To eat a man? It simply wants to run away. <sighs> <laughs> what's, the diffi- <laughs> what's the difference between a pirate and a cranberry farmer? <laughs> Every pirate kind of thing that's how we usually live. A pirate buries his treasure. A cranberry farmer treasures his berries. Brilliant! That's a half and half. <laughs> that's a half and half. How do you keep Thanksgiving Day guests from falling asleep on your couch? Shoot them? No, I don't know. Infuse the gravy with cocaine. Oh, that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> They're getting better. Don't worry. I celebrated Thanksgiving in an old-fashioned way. I invite everyone in my neighborhood to my house. We have an enormous feast, and then I killed them all and took their land. <laughs> Wow! (laughs) Jesus Christ! No, you're all angry now. I I did make a note here. Jesus Christ! That was a John Stewart joke. (laughs) Because I don't think it's a joke, it's the truth. (laughs) Well, I think that's what's supposed to be funny. I don't know. Now, what loud ass (laughs) old freak out next? That was it? Yes. That was the whole show. Oh, oh, okay. It's supposed to be some build up, this long build up, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, that's it. That was it. A potato and a sweet potato were playing on the playground. The sweet potato told the potato, hey, I just found out I'm related to you. The potato said, no, you're not. The sweet potato said back, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> What did the little corn say to the mama corn? I'm corny. Where's your popcorn? (laughs) (laughs) I think John has gotten the the most worst joke ones when we do jokes. There's not a lot of great ones out there, let me tell you. No, there's not. Okay, here, this is a little long, but we'll go with it. Ready? Yeah. This is a story about the girl that didn't know what cursing was. It was Thanksgiving evening, and the girl was sleeping in her bedroom, and she heard her parents having sex in the bedroom next over. Oh. Oh. She heard her dad say, Honey, I love your luscious tits. And she heard her mom said, Oh, baby, I love your slim dick. 
So the next morning, the daughter walks up to the dad and says, Hey, dad, what are luscious tits? The dad panics and says, It's a fine coat. She then walks up to the mom and says, Hey, mom, what's a slim dick? Mom panics and says, It's a pair of boots. Later on that day, everybody is getting ready for the holiday. Earl walks past the bathroom and sees their dad shaving. He cuts himself in the cheek and shouts, Shit. <laughs> Daughter then asks, What does shit mean? Dad replies, I'm shaving right now, sweetie. Girl, girl walks in the kitchen and sees her mom trying to cook the turkey. Mom accidentally drops the turkey and shouts, Fuck. Daughter then asks, Mom, what does fuck mean? Mom replies, I'm cooking the turkey, sweetie. About an hour later, friends and family arrive at the door. The girl answers the door and says, Hello, everyone. Hang up your luscious tits and drop your slim dicks. My dad is upstairs shitting and my mom is fucking the turkey. <laughs> I think that's the best one of the night. Might be, you know? You know the one? I can't read this fucking book. I have a quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I love Thanksgiving turkey. It's the only time in Los Angeles that you see natural breasts. Hey, sometimes the gong show, you're a champion. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Philip. Philip who? Philip, a big plate and dig in. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you another one? We interrupted <laughs> your beer. <laughs> your beer and drink. John's <laughs> drinking and eating dinner here or something. I think I got, I think I got them all. Any more, Jay? Knock, knock. Who's there? Odette. Odette. Who? Odette at the door. <laughs> Odette's a big turkey. <laughs> are ready. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Tamara. Tamara who? Tamara will have turkey leftovers. That's true. <laughs> I look forward to those. I'm going to miss those. I like a toasted, uh, I'll bring you some turkey. I'll bring you some turkey. I'll bring you some turkey. You don't think I wear this hat for nothing. All right. I'm promoting turkeys. <laughs> one last one here. What always comes at the end of Thanksgiving? The shit? The letter G. That's good enough. 
Jesus. Well, that sounds like a hot item. That's right. Oh, that's our Thanksgiving jokes. Oh. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking chongas. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com on Buzzsprout.com and iTunes or at Loose and Buttery on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Also on Untapped Cheese Brew and Brewmaster Pick. See, you, you like not being uh, handcuffed. <laughs> I know, I feel like a little lounge act here, like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 so good. That's so good. Sure, so good. Right. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. So good. So good. You bringing it is the only reason why he hasn't gone through both those bags like some kind of rabid raccoon. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I brought it. Let me go. Hey, Bill. Hey, go. I mean, you should see him when he hits upstairs. It's like he goes through that kitchen like, man. I like to eat in the evening. <laughs> oh, we know that. You get you and Linda going in the kitchen in the evening, and holy shit. I hate mornings. I don't want to do it anymore. Mornings? Yeah, I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Sick of it. It's possible. Don't do it. I know, I know, I know. My, my brain keeps saying, you get those, that dirty word, responsibility. Yeah. Sucks ass. Yeah, I know, I know. I got, you know, I got things. I, got. I know. This is good, right? Well, that's bringing down the whole Thanksgiving fine, episode. Right? Mr. Yeah. No Like Mornings. Maybe if you listen to the Dave Matthews oh, band in the morning, you'd be happy. I not liked. Other than, I think... A ghost from them. They haven't done any ghosts. He hasn't done any ghosts or any fruit stuff at all. He did actually did he did a and I missed it. He did a pumpkin, a peanut butter pumpkin porter, which I missed. But that sounds interesting. It does sound interesting, but and the cask he did it in the cask, but. Uh, no, you know what we? Uh, I don't think, think this new situation, situation allows you to sleep. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> While you two were entertaining, you, you looked like you were asleep. I was thinking. <laughs> <up. laughs> Me and John <laughs> lost our, <laughs> laughed our asses off. I don't know if Jay, because he's not on Facebook, sees it. But um, have you? You probably haven't seen it. You have to look it up on YouTube. Bat Dad. Dead. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, John will. John will find some for you before you go. It, it, this guy got a Batman like Halloween mask, and he talks like Batman. But he like just harasses his kids and his wife all the time. His wife's name is Jen. He'll just be like sneak up to her and go, Jen. <laughs> she she freaks out. <laughs> Looks like you've been doing. Squats lately. It doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt that Jen looks good. Yeah. <laughs> or he'll just scare the crap out of his kids. But you only see like this part, the Batman part of the mask on him while he's doing like a selfie thing, and he's like, he'll. But it's freaking. It's, for some reason, a couple weekends ago, we got watching him, and we just laughing our asses off. They're chewing. Okay. It's like watching oh, yeah. two monkeys in the zoo eat. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. The, uh, <laughs> speaking yeah, of what's your Halloween, Halloween costume was fantastic. You like it? Yeah. Egan. Unfortunately, we the fucking, fucking no. The unfortunate thing is that fucking thing didn't show up until the day after Halloween. I paid extra two, two days for the bat. Paid for the bat? <laughs> to deliver before Halloween. Oh. <laughs> and it didn't. Really? So I didn't have it, which is kind of the whole uh, thing. Oh, that sucks. You know. It showed up. I even told him, I said, you know what? If it shows up in the morning, I will bring it to you. Yeah, it was pretty much a day and a half late. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I paid for two days. Uh, I mean, yeah. That kind of pisses me off. Yeah, that sucks. You like my John Snow? 
Love oh, it. yeah. Love it. Both of you, John, you and Renee. John, John Snow. John and Snow. Khaleesi. The Khaleesi. Danny. That was like a last minute thing, too. Whoa, oh, you won. Uh, that was really good. For we won best couple. Oh, yeah, I was going to say for Jane. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. That was, uh, well, we couldn't decide. I, yeah, we were kind of trying to figure out what we were going to do for that Halloween party, but that was. Uh, I went last buddies, minute too. Uh, I went. I went as a pain in my wife's ass, <laughs> and uh, I won. <laughs> See, so I didn't realize until you commented on my picture. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you were up to date with the Walking Dead. Oh, I love Walking Dead. Oh, it's great, oh, yeah. eh? It's yeah. good. I've been yeah, yeah, enjoying it since beginning, pretty much. Yeah. The one, which was another thing. The one I don't think you watched that we watched is Vikings. Yeah, I started with Vikings and I lost interest to that, but somebody at work watches that and said I should try and try I don't know how much more I'm going to like without Ragna, though. You know what I mean? Give him a chance. And of course, you know, I think everybody said that at every fucking season of Game of Thrones. I'm like, you without character. I was like, you just killed off Ned Stark in the first, you know, all that shit. But they kept it going. So... I think, I think you got to give it a chance. chance. Obviously, Obviously, they must have a plan. But yeah, that came out. I was really happy with that Game of Thrones cast when that came out good. Yeah, yeah that, that was good. good. <laughs> that was real good. Fantastic. I was. Renee did all my makeup. I was. That was. Winter, winter was coming. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well that was done. Awesome. And I made this. I made the uh, sword myself. That was. Oh yeah. Because I couldn't find one. Can't find them anywhere. You should have borrowed John. John had a sword from yeah, William sword. Wallace. Yeah, you might have been able to use that. Yeah, but the, the John Snow sword with the... Oh, with the... Yeah. You want specifics, yes. Yeah. I didn't yeah. have that. Yeah. I just bought... I was thinking that. I went to Michael's and bought a polar bear and cut the head off. <laughs> <laughs> they had red eyes on sale for Why are you, why are you making video of that? that? Oh, I know. Yeah, but that shit... Killer. Oh, so it came, came out great. Oh my like, oh, god, you brought long claws. Awesome. I'm like, no, I just bought a. Yeah, you got <laughs> sliced up. I bought a fucking polar bear. <laughs> the year I did Animal, man. I threw that shit. Animal. I threw that shit together and it was a huge shit. Yeah, because that's, that's what it was with us. It was like last minute. Because I was like, I kept asking it because we do this Halloween party that came up and I was like, it was. I'm like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I'm like, last minute. Oh, yeah, let's do Khaleesi and uh, John Snow. And actually, it was going to be. It actually wasn't John Snow at first, I got to admit. What was that? He's, uh, he's, he's messing with me. I was seeing if he was going to. I think that hands free thing here. Not hands free thing is going to be a problem. I actually, it was going to be a dragon at first. Well, no. It started out. Yeah. It started out. To I'll be a pick dragon. you want to be. You know, it started out to be a dragon, and then I bought all the dragon stuff and took it back. And thank God the customer was good to me and took it back. So, but uh, no, that's what it was. It was very good. Yeah, I was going to be a thorn in my wife's side, but I decided. I took that back and decided to be a pain in the ass. Have you ever dressed up for Halloween in your entire life? Oh, yeah. Well, last time I did, I think it was at Jeff's. We had some, we did something at Jeff's, and I went as, uh, uh, when The Mask came out, the movie The Mask, and I got one of those masks, and I got a poncho, and I had, uh, like, a sombrero, a sombrero, and I went, remember, he did the Cuban Pete? It was Cuban Pete. His little alter ego and part of the movie there. Cuban Pete. That, that might that was the last one probably. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been, been a long time listen, since you dressed up. Yeah, yeah sure, you probably, probably. I don't like getting. I don't like putting pants on. Period. And much less a costume. <laughs> hey. Um, <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, uh, Peter. It's seven o'clock, and you've still got your pants on. What's, What's the occasion? The occasion? When, when John, John stops by, by, he always checks the check the text before to see if we're clothed. Yeah, don't need to walk in bed. Bunch of nonsense. <laughs> um, yeah, that was probably, if you can believe it or not, uh, I, you probably think, oh, you definitely want to kiss, but I never did, never, not once. That's peculiar. Yeah, I never really did Halloween. I never really did Halloween as an adult. 
Just yeah. never did. I know. It's not your thing. <laughs> no. Nope. Not my thing. I'll do it. All day long. But I'll wear a Santa hat all day long, Christmas time. <laughs> hey, my, I got to get uh, more uh, capable on my stilts. And you know the new house, since it's about half the size of this house, is going to look even more crispier. Crisp. Crisp. Sounds like you have a dick in your mouth. Crispier. Christmas crispier. 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 Are gonna crispier. look. Crispier. Is even gonna look more Christmas like because I have the stuff to cover this house and it's gonna be compacted into that little house. So it's every inch is gonna be. Did you bring everything? Took everything with it. Yeah. Candy canes. Absolutely. They're in the barn right now, but they're going. They've been saved. They're definitely going. I'm not getting rid of those. Fuck no. Oh, fuck yeah. I want to see if I can get a plane to come down the neighborhood. That's going to be like a Griswold. You're damn right. <laughs> You're damn right. What's this one like? Jerky. Oh, yeah. That's a cherry maple right there. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking chongas. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com, on Buzzsprout.com, and iTunes, or Briocho at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram and Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, of Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Also on Untapped at Jay's Brew and Brew Mr. Pick. Jay, what'd you learn? Nothing. Give <laughs> 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 me something. <laughs> um, Ubiocho. Ubiocho, there you go. See? That's what I learned. You stole it. Nope. That's all stole. I learned. So. I, learned I learned that. that uh, <laughs> the Beef Jerky Outlet has fantastic jerky. Oh, we're really trying to do funny ones uh, today, aren't we? <laughs> well, well yeah, it's your, your thing. thing. This, this is your, your gig thing. there. You, you, you surprise us all the time. How do I surprise you all the time? We've been doing this for fucking a year. I've been doing what have you learned? <laughs> yeah, but, like, but how do you mean? Ow! Is that your team? I gotta tell Johnny you're ahead of time so it doesn't surprise him. Surprise! It's Thanksgiving Thanksgiving surprise. surprise. It's a surprise holiday. (laughs) Oh, what did I learn? Uh, I learned that I have to uh, tell Johnny you're ahead of time or it's a surprise. (laughs) That's what I just learned right there. It's very important to learn. Is so very important to learn. Uh, so, episode one thirty eight. Who knows where the hell we're gonna be? This you might be seeing us here again. Yeah, that's you might true. Be seeing us no, no, I, I, I find it hard to believe that. that, that was, <laughs> Cause that means you would have to be here another four weeks, month. Yeah. Well, hey, transition. Transitioning. It's difficult. <laughs> Jay transitions every Friday. No, we do this every Friday. So it's hard. Jesus. <laughs> Jay transitions so. every Friday. And then back. Get to see what it looks like. Jay transitioning. <laughs> <laughs> Just my, wait. My nephew, uh, Dylan, he's never seen you. <laughs> Except, Except for the, the show. show. Yeah. And because, because you're, you're the, the farthest, farthest away, mm-hmm. you look kind of small. Mm-hmm. So he didn't realize you were a big guy. <laughs> so he saw you at the gig. Oh, he saw me at the gig. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I didn't know he was <laughs> the best thing, the, the best thing was like Greg and Chris came up and like, like I introduced them, but they were kind of taken back because they watched the show so much they feel like they already met Neil. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, kind of weirdly right. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way I, that's the way I felt yeah. with uh, Greg's wife. I said hello. I was like I knew who she was. Yeah, but you know we never met. Yeah, <laughs> never met, but we know who you are. I didn't even know he had a wife. Yeah, Greg. I didn't meet. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. She was there. Oh, oh. that night. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Tom's got a girlfriend. Oh, really? She was there. She was there. 
Greg has a wife. All right, baby steps. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tom's got a couple of ex-wives. John has an ex-wife, and Chris has an ex-wife. Yep. The ex-wives club. Yeah, I like playing. <laughs> I don't have any yet. Ex-wives didn't like. I don't have any either. <laughs> Time, time taken away, away from, from their agenda. agenda. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I do enjoy, enjoy having my own agenda. agenda. My agenda. I like it. Thank, Thank you for giving me my agenda. I don't know what your ex wife's agenda ever was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what it is. Call John and bug him. Call John and bug him. Call John and bug him. Yeah, she's laying off a little bit. I want money. I want money. Go talk about them. Hey, girl, are we going to get some more? <laughs> really? Simple. Blood from a stone, baby. Just to let you know, opportunities are opening up. So. Oh, my gosh. And your favorite. I and your favorite venue. I feel, oh, I feel this. I feel this. All right. All right. I know. Well, that sounds know, like a hot dog. you know what I'm talking about. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. I'll talk. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. We'll talk about that off the air. I don't think anybody listens, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Any of them, <laughs> any of them <laughs> people? Any of them people? I don't think any of them people. Any of them people listen to our people. <laughs> you bet your ass. All right. As All right. per usual, we've gone over not as much as the last one. We only went over. over? We're 140 minutes. Yeah, 140 minutes. 140 minutes? No, we're just over an hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a bitch. The first one, would, the first one we could have... That was an hour and a half. Yeah, the first one was bad. We could have gone three hours. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell happened in that one. It's, it does. You know what? Everyone's it's crazy. Been, it's crazy. It's with a the, different say. Yep. It's a different feel. You're all it's discombobulated. Really it's really You're all discombobulated. Discombobulated. Which, which only gets me more excited for the new place. Yeah. 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 I think it's, it's going to be very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be interesting, that's There's for no sure. no doubt about it. 2018, yeah. folks. There's no doubt it's going to be a oh. lot of us to consume. <laughs> Wow. We, we made, wow. I don't know how to put that. We'll probably be in the top 500 podcasts. <laughs> we will probably reach the top 5,000 by then. I keep, you know, I look at those top 100 podcasts and I keep, so keep waiting to see Bob's end. Super duper ready power. Yeah, I think they have things like uh, sponsors and shit. <laughs> Hey, we're still and waiting. The thing is, it only takes one, one thing. thing. Could, could be the album. One, could one thing. thing. Could, could be your uh, turkey, turkey helmet. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> is that a turkey helmet? Is that what it is, helmet? I'd call it a helmet. Helmet? A helmet on helmet! 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, say goodnight, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Oh, actually, we should say it on three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Stadler? Oh, uh, what? Is that it? Yes, it's over. How'd you like it? I don't know. I slept through the whole thing. Well, you didn't miss much. Today's feature presentation of Glory will not be seen. What? Oh, I love that movie. Oh, man, that's going to leave a big hole in their lineup. What's going to fill the glory hole? In place of glory, we will be showing Shaft, starring Richard Roundtree. What? You can't just shove Shaft in a glory hole. Yeah, I know. It'd be better to put in that movie about the two girls who meet Nixon. What's that movie called? Dick? Dick would slide right into that glory hole. No, no, Dick's too short for that glory hole. But if you also put in Edward Furlong's movie, Pekka, you got Pekka and Dick in a glory hole, and you got a tight squeeze, but it, it ought to fit. I'm going to put my nutsack on your drum set.